Yeah, hello out there, my good interblops. This is Un, as it tends to be on these fine Friday evenings, and this is Go With The Stream, also in fairly typical fashion. Hope out uh, there everyone is doing okay. Having a good uh, lead into the weekend, at least. Oh, I am really kind of bushed today, but I can make it through the show, no problem. I'm glad to spend time with you folks. Sonic Rose, very good to see you again. Goober Slot, Life Forcer, Misfit Kitten, a pleasure. I need to turn my headphones down a little bit, it's kind of loud. There we go. And frank -Omatic, good to see you as well. Yeah, for the most part, it's uh, business as usual with me. Um, my hearing still sucks because I still haven't gotten completely over that cold yet. Thank you for the sub, Sonic Rose, and I do agree. Yeah, my, my hearing is still borked, but uh, you know, I'll give that maybe another week and then I'll poke my doctor again. I poked her previously, and uh, she said give it a little more time. Sometimes it takes a while after a cold, but I'm about ready to start hearing normally again, I gotta say. And Terra, very good to see you, and thank you for the sub. Don't, a pleasure. Puppy Leo, good to see you. Uh, Goober Slot, good to see you, and yes, I did. At least as of a few minutes ago when I switched over to this window. <laughs> the upper Vaughn, if only I could. Well, Misfit Kitten, she got back to me quickly. I I think she's just really not worried about it, because uh, the, uh, the fact that I have no pain uh, and no discharge suggests to her that it's probably nothing serious. That seems reasonable enough, so I'll give it a little more time. And Red Pandaraku, good to see you. Oh, uh, what else is new? Oh yes, hopefully, and I'm really knocking the hell out of some wood here, hopefully we will have a meet and greet with a possible dog adoption on Sunday. The question at this point is, they were supposed to call me today, and they didn't. And I sent them an email uh, checking to see if everything was okay, and um, they have not responded to the email either. So, I have a good feeling about this dog, hopefully I will actually get to meet him. But we will see what happens. I gotta say, if I can vent a little for just a moment, I have a dialogue going on with them and with one other rescue, and if both of those go through... Uh, Mr. Kitten, not the same huge dog from before, although he is... The, the, this one is fairly large as well. But, um... Yeah, I've got two dialogues going with, uh, with these independent rescues right now. And if both of those fall through, then I think I'm done with them, with uh, rescues like that. Uh, if I am to have a dog, it's going to be either from a private owner or from a shelter, because my experience dealing with these rescues has been overwhelmingly frustrated, uh, frustrating. I get that they're all volunteers, they're probably overloaded, uh, they've got their regular lives as well, and I appreciate the work that they do, but god are they painful to deal with. For the most part. Ironically, the one that was the easiest to hear with, uh, the easiest to deal with, uh, was the one with the dog that went aggro on us. Done they are. Uh, shelters tend to be, uh, well, first of all, they tend to be physical locations, uh, buildings. Uh, and unlike most shelters, they're not affiliated with, like, a county or city or whatever. Uh, they tend to be just dog enthusiasts uh, working to get dogs into homes. Howdy, Soap Dragon. Glad to have you back. And uh, rescues are much more demanding. They do background checks, they often do home che uh, checks, uh, you have to fill out pretty long applications for them, and <laughs> they are incredibly frustrating to deal with, because they, they don't answer their messages, or call back. But I'm being grumpy. They're they're doing important things, and heaven help them. And this one may still work out. But that's enough of that. Just wanted to get that off my chest. 
Now what do you say? We hop back into a little more Ori. I'm having a good time with Ori. And Ori is very pretty. Yeah, Goober Slot, I appreciate the fact that, um... That they want to be very careful about who they place their dogs with. But, if you're trying to get them into homes, try making it a little less difficult, you know? Okay, Ori in the... Oh, I need to update my info. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, Goober Slot. Oh, I should add that there is a possibility that they will um, that they will call me during the stream. In which case, I will need to take that uh, that call. I do apologize if that happens, and I will endeavor to get back to you folks as quickly as possible. I'll just probably put on some music in the meantime. And uh, what was I going to say? Lost my train of thought. Let's Ori. I am looking forward to having a try of Death Stranding. It looks quite weird, and I tend to appreciate Kojima-style weird. There we are. Oh, I updated my OS since uh, the last time I did this, and uh, so... The picture is all discombobulated again. Give me a moment, I'll try and get that sorted away. Sorted out, I should say. Welcome, Nolden. And this is really messed up. In <laughs> just a moment, folks. Sorry about this. Let me get one with a little more stuff to see. Okay, there's the bottom. Okay, almost got it. Ori I have found to be much weirder about this than, uh, than most games, but that's okay. It is a good enough game I'm willing to f uh, f yeah, forgive it a few technical trespasses. Now if I could get this frame out of my screen that would be super. There we go. Alright, now here comes one of the typical uh, standbys of this stream where, having not played the game for a week, I kind of forget what I was up to. Also, let me take a moment to get the controls back uh, through my head. Okay, that's dash. Got my triple jump. Got that dash. I forget what that is. Okay, that's my grenade thing. Ah, I had just done this map still, and that I do remember. Okay, I think that's enough for me to get started anyway. Oh yeah, and I can climb now. Alright, so let's check our map and our destination. Yes, the bash, I was very good about forgetting about that, wasn't I? Okay, our destination is in the lower left, and we are looking to restore the Forlorn Ruins. Cool. Actually, let me try a... A practice bash just to make sure I've still got the hang of it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, rolly thing. Is 
the apartment expe- uh, apartment inspections discombobulated me too because they're so consequential. They can actually mess with your uh, with your housing and your livelihood if they go badly. Oh, right into the spikes. Okay, I was able to climb before. Is Have I forgotten how to do that? There we go. Okay. It's R2. Howdy there, Texamosis. Good to see you. I need health. Let's just drop a save. I can afford it. Ah, damn it! Was that ribbiting? If so, I don't know how I managed to never notice the ribbit sounds before. I was thinking of, the, uh, thinking of them as monkey things when they may in fact be frog things. Yep, toward the ice appears to be the case. Puppy Leo, are we at least talking about a desktop here? Thus making the keyboard replacement not too painful? Oh, good. This man replacing a laptop keyboard, even if you're technically capable of doing it, it's very unpleasant. They can, Puppy Leo, that is a good point. It's a somewhat cumbersome workaround, to be sure, but... ...can keep you tied it over for a while, at the very least. Speak to me, Santa Gross. I do, in fact, need more cabbages. I will do that straight away. Just had to get out of Enemyville. Oh! You respond quickly, so... That suggests you're important for something. That's better. I didn't actually notice how I healed. I do heal by generating checkpoints, but I don't think I did that for the first of those heals, and I've completely forgotten what to do with these doors. I'm guessing the critter here is important. Maybe I need to bash him into it. Oh, congratulations, Texamosis. Oh, that's right, I have to do this backwards. Ick. Clumsy. This thing does seem to explode with a fair amount of force when it dies, so maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, I need to get the roll thing back. Okay, fair enough. Anteater piss smells like weed. The more you know. Welcome, Rooks. Good to see you. Okay, spike generating slimes, I officially hate you.
I should also note that um, Tiger Piss smells like popcorn with a heart attack amount of butter on it. I can do that, Sonic Rose. Oh, that's right, I need to do a save point for that. Well, here's my ability tree. <laughs> Sorry about that, Goober Slot. Uh, not my skill tree, but my, uh... Okay. Yeah, I've got everything except the one on the left. I don't know what that is. Rooks was your new goofy friend, in fact, an endier? Oh, we've got a post. Hang on, I'm gonna look at it. Oh, what a face. <laughs> that does uh, impart a certain goofy look, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know that I fully explored Black Roots. I was fairly thorough, but I do not by any means guarantee there were not things I missed. Oh, so I need him not to go into the wall there. Yep, map, uh, where the hell is Black Roots? Lower right. Now it looks like I've been reasonably thorough. Ah, uh, yes, I see the percentage now, 92. So there will be a thing or two that I missed, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. My immediate concern is how the hell I'm going to get the rolly thing down there without it exploding. Oh, hey, ability point. Oh, not sure I get it from that side. Well, that would do it. The thing is, though, if I have to go down there, I don't see there being any other way of doing it. Alright, how the balls do I get there, then? Think, think, think. The game may have explained this to me at some point, but unfortunately I do not recall the explanation. A lever. Oh, okay. I shall have to find that. Now, where could that be? Somewhere in the same area, I presume. Over here was the map stone, right? Right. Nothing else of interest? Alright, so we'll go back to the beginning of this area and we will be thorough in our searchitude. Oh! The parachute! I forgot all about that. Oh, wait, I have two ability points. Let me see if I can afford anything new. Yeah, the combat abilities are not super exciting. Life cells on the map, on the other hand, I will take that. Okay, so this is pretty much where the area starts, so I'm going to go through it with an eye for levers. Down near the dead end, okay. Well, there is... Hmm... 
Okay, well, I'll keep looking. If anyone should spot the lever and I don't, <laughs> please do speak up. Howdy there, Gamagumo. Glad to see you. Oh, I gotta remember. These slimes leave spikes. New enemy behavior must get into the habit of accounting for it. Howdy, Megazaurus. Oh, balls! Balls, balls, balls. Kind of hate these new slimes. Just for the record. Oh, okay. There's a lever. How did I miss that before? Point taken, Rooks. It's a fair cop. Ooh. There we go. Bingo bango, sugar in the gas tank. Let's save before we die, which I will have to- Oh, okay, here's a life thing. That'll make things a little less precarious. There we go. Now I know those hanging swingly dings are things that I bash from. That sort of business I remember. Well, let's see if we can explore the very top. D damn it! Not under the ledge. You know, and you don't have to take every hit. Oh, you're a rolly thing. <laughs> I couldn't tell what you were hiding there. Ah, uh, you can't deal with slopes. See what the bottom is before we go bashing our way along. Oh, kind of free XP around here. I ain't knocking it. Okay, can't go up through that. Oop! I can swim now. That was one of the unlockable things in the uh, menu. Okay, I do have to bash my way up there. Interesting, there's nothing down from here on the map. I'm too curious. 
Yep, sure is death. Anything over on the far wall here? Negatory. This, I believe, is another of those elemental temples, which means it's probably going to be some rough business. The Forlorn Ruins. This is where the Gumon live. They build miraculous structures and infuse them with the light of the spirit tree, which keeps them safe. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, Rooks. Oh no. Hello there, Bihorn. That's Ono to the to the dialogue, not Ono to you. These Gumon were frozen, unable to escape. When the element of winds lost its light, these ruins must have turned into their grave. Okay. Shimmery and hot looking is in fact shimmery and hot. I do remember that light carrying. The Gumon were crafty inventors. They had foreseen a bright future that never came. Look at this light vessel. They were able to store the light of the spirit tree within. Oh, yep, there's another of those things. Activate and walk over Gumon structures without taking damage. Oh, those are the heat things. Okay. Whoa! Hello! Sudden burst of sideways gravity. Oh, I see. Going around the curves... Mongols your gravity. Well, this promises to be entertaining for certain values of the word. Oop. Oh. oh. Okay, and I can put the thing down and gravity goes normal again. I would like to note for the record that even though I am sideways, my uh, controls have not changed, so I am still pressing left and right to go up and down along this wall, for example. It's a little bit disorienting, although I've, I've experienced worse. Now the timing for this looks like a real bear, I gotta be careful about it. Okay, not as bad as it looked. Whoop, up, up! But bad enough. See, I actually find tank controls a little more intuitive than this. That is a good idea, checking out the right. Let's do that. Now, can I actually get over this jump? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, and there is a shiny here. Marvelous!
Uh, tank controls never bothered me. Monster Hunter controls, on the other hand, as uh, Sonic Rose can attest to, are giving me fits. Not because they're bad in any way, just because I'm old and they're complicated. Oh, right, I gotta put the thingy down. Remember, my jump is pretty good, so I can do stuff like that, no big deal. My jump is still... is still pretty good even when I'm carrying the hoopa -jube. Oh good, the, the, uh... the shots of the hate slime... fall normally. Gotta remember, I can put the thingy down. Sometimes that isn't correct. Yeah, in fact, the correct course of action. Oh, my precious cabbages! I'm just a baby too. Just a baby in this business of love. Oh, that lowers me into the spikes. Important safety... T balls and milk! I actually did another Baroth mission and I got better at it. I still find them one of the more problematic things to work with that I've fought so far. But I have gotten somewhat better out of it. Oh, damn it, gotta jump a little earlier than I think I have to. Or just keep moving. Or fail to keep moving. I didn't do it on stream, Gami Gimo. I just did a little co op with Sonic Rose in uh, Monster Hunter World. And though I am finding it somewhat difficult to come to grips with, I am enjoying it quite a bit. It is a very good game. these. Thus far I am a fan of the hammer. I like the hammer because I tend to be better at uh, picking my shots than I am at high speed, high execution sort of things. And it doesn't help that it has some of the simpler controls. I'm gonna need to get that stone. How am I going to get that stone? I want those stones, I want those stones, and I'm willing to break a lot of bones. If I drop the hooba jube, I'm going to get fried by the platform I'm standing on. Unless... Unless it works when I'm not holding it, but I suspect it doesn't. This is going to be tricky. Sure, save me some heartache. Bash your grenade, I keep forgetting I can do that. that gently. There we go. Thank you, Gummy Gummo.
All right, Soup Dragon. Thank you for dropping by and have a good one. And, you know, it's horrible of me, but I have to admit, going thonk, thonk, thonk with the big hammer combo on the head of something stunned, I find unreasonably enjoyable. Oop. Wrong. Clearly wrong. It'll be this simple. If I look to the left now, I can wrap around. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> this probably doesn't work, but I'm determined to try it anyway. <laughs> well, it worked for a man who was speaking. Weird dreams lately. You know, there was one, and I can't, uh... I can't think of what it was off the top of my head. The last weird dream I had was kind of a while ago, much earlier in the week, and I truly don't remember what was weird about it. Oh, to get that keystone, gotcha. I understand. I'm also obliterated, but that's okay. mulling over the question of the one that's hovering up there. Oh, nuts. That death was intentional. I am attempting to go right. I can definitely see why I was cautioned about this temple. <laughs> hmm. I'm really not sure what the deal is with getting that stone. Oh, come on! Whoa, hi there! Confess I don't entirely un damn it. I confess I don't entirely understand why that happened. Why I went sideways there. Whichever way your feet touches down, okay, now it makes sense. Of course, execution is something else again. Uh, balls! This is tricky, and I seem to be somewhat off my game.
See, that's actually kind of nicely symmetrical, Rooks, because if you take a shot of A1 every time I die, we'll both die of salt. Okay. Okay, so I can walk around- yeah, I can walk around this, okay. Neato keen. And how do I use that to my advantage is the big question. I'm just gonna do a little lap because it entertains me. Okay, clearly I cannot jump to the right because it is full of spikes. I cannot drop the thing because it's full of spikes here and the thing is hot. Jump from the right-hand side. Oh, onto the... Okay. Oh my goodness, this is gonna get complicated. Kaplunk! Got it. And I can use this to get me over to where the hoopa -joob is. Excellent. Whoop, nope, not, 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 Nope, I'm not doing this right. Okay. I will get my head around this, it just takes a little work. That's clearly not correct. Whoops. Yeah, that's just as well. Okay. Ugh, there we go. Now we can go back this uh, my normal way. just did this, I should remember how. Okay, you're right. Down is left if I'm like this. actually have a map stone fragment. Take a look to the right first. There we go. Make me a little more agile for the moment. There is our keystone door, so I'll need to return here. Hey there, Gravity and Biscuits. It goes well enough. How about you?
Oh, nuts. A low save point. Your presence, oops. Your presence pleases me because I need cabbage. Uh, sorry to hear about the drama, Sir Hoshi Cat, but I'm glad you could make it. I do most certainly appreciate the way the uh, change of gravity fucks up the hate slime. This isn't looking right. I'm not doing this correctly. Oh, I could I could just drop the thingy. I keep forgetting that's that's a factor. There are many disparate elements here. I will grasp them eventually. Okay, fun with timing. Whoop, no, that's not gonna do it. Okay. Now we put the thing down. I don't know, Lors, but I hope I do get to ride on a whale at the end. I knew the moment my feet left the ground that that was not going to work, but... It's too late to correct course. Ah! No! Well played, Hoshi. Oh, the balls that the hate slime shoots don't actually hurt me. That's good to know. Oh, I'm bad at things. No, Goober Slot, I am more than earning it. Your mirth is warranted. Now, there is absolutely nothing complicated about the timing on this laser. I am making this hard for no good reason other than being off my game. Ah! No, oh, I fucked it up again! Okay, that's a bit of a brute force, but it kind of works. Sort of, almost.
Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> the problem with that gummy goo is that I'm not actually good at souls. Yep, I gotta drop and use the cube. I get it. I get it. Let's see if I can avoid getting killed by this enemy before I get a chance to save. Protect me, companion cube. Oh, now I'll need to turn my gravity around and drop down. I get it. Occasionally I figure things out. Oh, come on, Ori, what's this Bubble Man shit? Sweepy laser. Oh, this is going to be a bitch and a half. Too fast! Oh hey, I actually made it through Bubble Man. Cool. But if I go to that ledge on the left, won't I be stuck? Or is there something I can drop down directly under here? Let's find out. Oh, there is. Okay. But it's too unsafe to save. Oh, well. Maybe on the other side? No. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Whoops-a-daisy. What it is with me today, I'm making things much more difficult than uh, they have to be. Just off my game, I suppose. It does happen. Too fast again. Gotta slow this shit down a little bit. Think of baseball. Aim is important, too. We like aim.
Oh, that's true. I could just jump to the platform directly, couldn't I? See, like I said, I'm making things more complicated than they need to be. And finally a new safe spot. Hallelujah. Oh, do tell, Nolden. Alright, Gummy Gimmo. Rest well. Have a good weekend. That's right, Nolden. He's not the hero that we need, but the hero we deserve. Oh, gotta be, gotta be quicker than that. When I'm not too fast, I'm too slow. Let's reset our gravity. Glad you're enjoying it, Hoshi. I did too. I definitely want to do the, uh, the DLC one of these days. Besides the Halloween one, I mean, but... Oh, okay, I gotta use the box to orient my... But the box has spikes on it. Hmm, this is a pickle. Ah, okay, another path. That's good. You know, I took a spiking, but I'll... Hey, wait a minute. I've been here. This can't be where I'm supposed to be, right? Oh, no, I do have all four stones now. Why did I think I didn't? No, oh, you know, I didn't notice that, Raku. I'm gonna have to look for that now. Oh, hey, you again. Well, I'm glad you didn't start a fire. Is your microwave okay? Good, good. Was neat. This shrine must have powered all they had built. Look at it. Now look what it did.
Okay, I can't take the Hoobajoob out, so I am not supposed to do that. Doesn't look like there's anything important here. Probably. Now I'm free of this stone. Is there going to be another one? <laughs> oh, you're never free of death. Until you die. That didn't make any sense. You're not free of death when you die. You don't have to worry about dying anymore. I wonder if Gumo knows their fate. I hope he can forgive us that we live and they are gone. Yes, roll your own checkpoint is rather nice. Oh boy. Hot laser action. Ah! That would have been better if I hadn't fallen. That might have been correct if I hadn't fallen. It doesn't look like they hit the very top of that block. Oop! Timing! Not comic timing, the regular kind. Ugh. Apparently I'm also sexually attracted to lasers. Actually doing it when the laser's in the other direction might be a little easier. Don't stand so close to the edge! Okay, step one. Megazaurus, I'd buy that for a dollar. Nope, we have to pound on the thing, Ori. On the thing. That's how we do. Oh, unstable ground. Oh, no! Lord's Smash TV reference. Whoa. A little quick on the gun there. Glad to hear it, Gravity, uh, bis uh, Gravity and Biscuits. Visibility and audio is the recommended way to enjoy Go With The Stream. And Sonic Rose, I think a little pee just came out. Don't shoot me, bro. Thank you. Gah! <laughs> A few deaths. Oh. 
Oh, hang on, phone call, folks. I better take this. Be back with you ASAP.
And we're back. Thank you so much for your patience. Sorry that took a little time there. Things are looking good. They just hadn't called earlier because they had quite a uh, chaotic day. And we are on for our meet and greet with the prospective uh, dog adoption Sunday at noon. So, please do wish us luck. And with back, uh, with back, with that, uh, we can get back to Ori in a moment. I can certainly answer that first. Uh, he is a mix of Golden Retriever, um, what was it? Golden Retriever, Rough Collie, and Great Pyrenees. Oh, I hope everything was okay, uh, Sir Hoshi Cat. He looks like, um, he looks like a Golden and, uh, Collie Cross. I think from the Pyrenees, he mostly just got a size boost. <laughs> Excuse me. Howdy, Sunrise, and thank you. Alright, all that squared away. There we go. Thank you, Raku. Uh, Nolten, I actually do. Um, I can put that up if you give me a moment, if that's not going to delay things too much for folks. That is to say, I don't have one saved locally, but... But I, uh, can pull up his profile and get it. Uh, do, 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 where was that? There he is. I'll get that saved locally. And right up on the screen. I'm trying to manage my expectations, so you may want to do the same. We really don't know if this guy will be able to come, uh, come home with us, but we're hopeful, and I do have a good feeling about him. Alright, let's switch over to the title card so I can get that up. Image. I should have that in a moment. All right, computer, work with me here. Ah, there we go. Didn't want to display for a moment for some reason. Okay, should be incoming right about now. He really is a cutie. And, um... Uh, he's, he's a little bit disoriented because for all of his life up until very recently, he lived with the same family. Uh, so that, that's a bit of an upheaval for him. But he's been adjusting well to the foster, at least, so hopefully he'll adjust as well to us. Uh, no, don't. I think that's his foster. But, uh... But although he's a little bit uh, discombobulated by that, he has been a family pet for all his life up until very recently, as opposed to being a stray or anything like that. So that'll probably be good for his temperament, I think. It's important to do uh, to give dogs with traumas a chance, but they are hard mode. I know this well. Matter of fact, the uh, the dog that went aggro on us was a trauma case. No, I'm sorry, Goober Slot. Yeah, he's he's about 70 pounds, so he's a reasonably good size match for Sarah, who's about 90 pounds. And uh, he's actually shown a little bit of uh, of friction with some males that are uh, appreciably smaller than him, but Sarah's not smaller than him, and he's been fine with female dogs, so knock wood. May it be painless gravity. Puppy Leo with the uh, 
with a combination of breeds I would think he would be predisposed to being fairly clever, but we shall see. It's not so much that he doesn't like the Mechazoras, he's just a little, little more dominant with smaller dogs. Understandably, but, you know, they won't all be willing to take his shit about it. But, yep, that will hopefully be our boy. Knockwood. He sounds good on paper, I have a good feeling about him, but we will see what happens. Especially after the last meet and greet, I am managing my expectations as much as I can. That is probably exactly it, Puppy Leo. At least that's what I figure. Alright. Now, actual game. And thank you all, of course, for the well wishings. The rescue's a bit of a hike from us, I should note. It's about 90 minutes away. So, if we take him home, hopefully the the long trip will be reasonably uneventful. But he is alleged to be very good in the car. Oh, yes, Goober, I've seen those. They are very silly looking. Corgi crosses with anything that's not supposed to have tiny legs always look a bit silly. Alright, I got an approach I'm gonna try into this. We'll see if it works out. Okay, good. I just want to make it to a ledge so I can save. Well, it's not that unsafe. There we go. Okay by me, Keith. certainly got on well with uh, with smallish dogs. We've had a few. But I admit my uh, my preference does lean toward uh, bigger, larger breeds. This looks like probably progress, so maybe I should check to the right. Uh, as for Sarah and Cars, she's actually kind of funny about that. She likes riding in the car, but hates when we're going slow. As long as we're, like, at freeway speeds or something like that, she's happy as a clam. But, uh... If she, um... If we slow down, get caught in traffic, or, you know, have to take things slower through a residential area, she simpers. That's about the best I can put it. And hang on, I gotta check out, uh... Long dog. Well, Ling doesn't want to work for me. Oh well. There we go. Actually, no, I've got to get this refocused. There we go. Sarah's also very good with dogs that are in the same space as her. Like, if they're both outside, she's fine. If they're both in the house, she's fine. But if one is on the other side of any sort of barrier, then she always has to bark. 
Dogs outside walking down the street are not allowed on her street. Ah, thank you, Nolden. I will check that out during the break. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the left looked like progress, so we're gonna see what's to the right first. Oh! Glad I saved! Hmm. Is left progress or is right progress? Because over there looks like important things are happening, too. And that actually looks less reversible. So let's go left first. Oh! Not so hasty, Un. This is progress. Okay. I know, I'm being a flip-flopper here. I just want to make sure I, uh, get everything that might be relevant explored until I no longer have a chance to do so. Or before I no longer have a chance to do so, I should say. Once again, I am grateful for that save. Boy, am I ever. But not like that. Try and cling onto that wall so we can time this a little easier. Good. We'll switch to the opposite wall and we'll do more of the same. Oh, okay. There's an exploiter here. We like those. Kind of my dad, Lors. In the in the technology sense, anyway. My mother is forever lamenting how bad she is with computers, but she's infinitely better than dad. Well, Megazorus, I would say they might be uh, a case against the existence of a kind and loving god, but who can say? Really, theology is not my strong suit. Yep, very glad that Sonic Rose got me the definitive edition of this, because I would not like having, uh, no air dash. <laughs> Act Monster, see above. What? Element of winds lies before us, stored in the heart of this place. Oh, hey, Gumo. These ruins are all that is left of the Gumon, reminding us of their fate. Losing the ones that he loved, Gumo is the last of his kind. Oh, that sucks. 
Ori, we shall bring back the light. For Nibel and the memory of the Guan, let us restore the element of the winds. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Get the time back! Oh, are we gonna have an escape sequence like the other one? I'd say that is probably a yes. Oh! How was I even supposed to avoid that? No! Ori, no! That's not how- Oh, timing. Okay. I can- I can kind of feather my, uh, feather my hover. That makes sense. Yep, let me just feather that hover. Good, good. That! Yeah. No! Oh! No, oh, Ori, do it properly. I'm just taking a death here because that thing, that went really wrong. Lord Finisher, video games indeed, good to see you. Whoop. No problem, Nolan. Rest well. Glad you could make it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's more like it. Another feather. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Oop. Oh, Ori, help! Oh, thank you! What exactly am I doing here? We don't want the ceiling to fall on us. That we do not want. Woo! There we go. Please do excuse me for not looking at the chat very much during this sequence, folks. It's pretty rough. Okay, no hits so far. I like that. Spitty thing. Ceiling, do your thing. Oh, you're gonna wait, huh? Nope, oh, more ceiling. Okay. 
We will not be get we will not be fooled by that a third time. They're not doing so good about taking the hits this time. <laughs> you can't create a soul link in an, un in an unsafe zone. I figured that would be the case, but I'm tickled that that happened immediately. Uh, that immediately after that, a ceiling fell on me. Ceiling trigger, thank you. Now remember me, more ceiling is going to fall. There, good. Oh! Oh my goodness! Ah! You really don't have a whole lot of time to respond to those ceilings. Ah! Dang it. This is a bad run. Out of the way, Ori! Good job. Yeah, I think this is longer than the last one. I do believe you're right on that point. One hit from... Yeah, one hit from death was not where I wanted to be there. I am gradually learning a little more about what's up ahead. If not always executed properly. Falls. More ceiling falls. And now we go. Okay, that gets blasted up, and I guess it's probably going to fall back down, right? Not. Whoa! Ah! That wasn't actually supposed to happen. I didn't int intend to do that move. Although it certainly did get me out of the way of the falling thing for a moment. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh. Kinda lost control for a moment there. 
shit, float. Yeah, shit does in fact float. Okay, that goes up. Shit's gonna fall on me. We gotta prompt it and then we gotta get under cover. Good. Ah, water everywhere. No me gusta. Let's explode the explodey. Yep, didn't think I'd be that lucky. Koro's nest, that can't be good. And I save! Oh, hello there, Lolo and company. Huh, <sighs> moment to breathe. And we proceed. Part one of the chase, oh balls. You know, from the aesthetic of this, I actually was thinking it was going to be a fairly gentle puzzle platformer. Don't judge a book by its cover, folks! Oh dear, this would appear to be what Chase Part 1 was referring to. Oh god, what do? Oh, thank you for the save, game. We appear to have a stealth mechanic. Difficult question to answer, Gubersod. I'm fine at some, terrible at others. Ah, uh, ground pound through ice, that is handy to know. Spider, your rapid respawning is a little bit bullshit. Okay. 
Okay, how am I gonna get out of here? I need the spider. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to use it to boost. I guess. Ah, there we go. That's how it's done. Okay, we know how the death mechanic of the stealth segment works. I.e. stand out in the open too long, instant kill. Good to know. Can't be seen underwater, that is also good to know. That's about what I figured, but I thought I'd try. Okay, so I'm guessing that log over there would be a hidey spot. Yes, good. Now this isn't the meanest of self segments, yet. Oh god, Hitchhiker's Guide. That was pretty brutal. Okay, which way am I actually intended to go? To the right, I assume I'm going back out the way I came in. Oh, is there a rolly thing I can throw at this? Oh, there it is, yep. There it is. I remember because it surprised me before. Oh, come on down. Well, Dad, I need you to come out before before bird death. Nope, that's not how. Good, rapid respawn. We appreciate that. Good. But I can get into that little log down there. Oh, movable shelter! Isn't that keen? One element I always really enjoyed of the Hitchhiker's Guide game uh, was that you have to remove a common sense part, uh, particle from your brain at one point. Barely escaped from her clutches this time. It's clear now why she hunts us. Kuro was just protecting her child. But remember, Rory, the element of warmth is the last to ignite. The sunstone we seek, high atop Sorrow Pass. We must ride the winds, for they will show us the path. We have met the enemy, and they is us. Megazorus, I am leaning toward uh, more super win the game. I did look up what I have to do next in that, but I am not entirely committed to that. I hate you, Rolly thing. Oh, after this game is done? Not entirely sure. Um, I can't think of the name of it, but there was like some uh, some Toho spinoff. Uh, that I already have downloaded, so that would work. But uh, I will look through my options.
Luna Nights, that's the one. Practicing my reflection a bit. How much Dark Souls is left? Not quite sure what you mean by that, Keith. If it's Demon Souls, I just finished it. That is correct, Keith. Usually I do a patron poll for my next game, but I've got a specific one planned this time. Lors, that, ex that is exactly the case. Uh, Bloodborne is going to be the next uh, Souls-esque game that I play. And then we'll be Dark Souls 3. Bird, I didn't see you there. Oh, Mechazorus, it's gonna be a while before I do, uh... Before I do Bloodborne. I don't want to put these two close together. Nope, Sonic Rose, I have a particular plan for the next game, but after that one there will be a patron poll. So we're just going up and up and up and a whole lot of up. Let's see, is there any clear route that way? Net hack! <laughs> Funny thing about that, Hoshi, even in Bloodborne, I'm still not very good at parries, but they're not. Critically important most of the time. Sufficient dodging will, will usually do the job, although some things are easier with parries. Is this a switch I should concern myself with? Oh no, that puts that back down. I am going to eventually take a crack at Sekiro as well. But as with most things, that is currently part of the mighty backlog. Now, how am I to get through that? This isn't one of the explodey ones. No. Like that. Oh man, I played the original Apshai, but I was quite the youngster then. Maybe this opens the other one? Oh wait, no, the other one was a brick wall. That's not gonna open anything. Yeah, I, I played the original Apshai once upon a time, but I was quite young and I don't remember it really at all. A fantasy I played fairly late, and that I do remember. I remember losing so many limbs in that game. I swear your characters fall apart like they're made of tissue paper.
Oh, okay, it must have been two or three then. It was definitely one of the ones you could lose many limbs in. Because I distinctly remember doing a whole hell of a lot of that. Cybercop. I don't think I know that one. Could you possibly be referring to Technocop? Shining Force 2 is lovely. Technocop is a hot mess, that, uh, that is to be sure, but Technocop does contain one of, I think, the funniest police dispatches in any media anywhere. You're, you're called to an incident of a baby being crushed. Like, if you're getting a call out about that, you're probably too late, because how much time could it possibly take to crush a baby? Cybercop, an FPS. Huh. I managed to completely miss that one, and that's really uncommon with Genesis games. <laughs> Keith, you speak like someone who knows. But... <laughs> Techno Cup actually could be fun someday when I'm in a Kusel game mood. It's, it's definitely bad, but in many ways it's hilarious. And we got Ability Tree. Ah, Sir Hoshi Cat, that would be Revolution X. There was a sneeze version of that, but it was uh, originally an arcade game. And in none of its incarnations was it very good. Now, mileage may vary, but I didn't think much of it even as an arcade game. Ah, Keith, you're speaking my language. I am a big fan of Vice Project Doom. That is one I plan to do someday. Earth Siege, yes, but not for very long. I poked at it a bit. Hello, Aurobolt. Welcome. I keep forgetting what exactly all the various walls are, uh... I keep forgetting what specifically breaks all the various walls. Hitting, with an, hitting them with an owl is clearly not the way to get through the stone ones. Blind is the proverbial bad aura. Explosives, eh? You're probably being tongue-in-cheek, but it's worth trying. Oh, the Capcom D&D games were wonderful. I loved both of them. Nope, I've already done this. The Gold Box games I honestly didn't play very many of, but I really liked Azure Bonds. It didn't hurt that uh, I liked the book Azure Bonds was based on.
Oh, balls. Let's see, Curse of, Curse of the Azure Bonds was good. I played Hillsfar, but didn't really care for it. Mechazorus, Mistara, uh, Mistara probably was better, but Tower of Doom I thought was really good too in its own right. Still worth playing after the existence of Mistara. Okay, what do I do now? I get some cabbage first of all is what I do. like to the right is the right way. We could probably get some juice in to save over here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Eon of Sands does not ring a bell. Don't believe I know that one. This was way too obvious. I may have to look into that, Hawk. I do like me a good dungeon crawler. See if you actually have to survive or if I can just kill you. <laughs> yeah, Arcade Akari 3 was a mean one. Not that any of the Akari Warriors uh, of the Akari Warriors game were what you'd call easy. I'll tell you what shocked me was that single credit uh, getting through Smash TV was possible, but then I saw someone do it. <laughs> oh, Frank and Madigan Lord Finisher. It's hard to say which of you hate me more hate me worse with that suggestion. And we've made it to Sorrow Pass. That'd be an entirely good thing, given the... Damn it! Your mom got to the final boss of Athena, that's actually really impressive. Because even the parts of Athena that aren't like hard in terms of actual deliberate level design are hard because of the sheer amount of jank. I'm kind of holding myself into the void here, I don't know. Okay, that's death floor. That's pretty cool, Frank. My mom's, uh, 
only ever really been into light gun games and the original Mario Brothers. Not super, but the original. Well, she does play her, her share of, uh, of stereotypical mom games, Candy Crush and what have you. Oh! Hi there! Can I but can I, uh, bash off of you? I can! Hooray! I don't know about Tower of Juraga. I actually would consider doing Deadly Towers, though. Oh! Oh! Damn it. I wouldn't say I like Tower of Draga per se, but I respect it for being unapologetically what it is. It is simply the most Tower of Draga game that has ever... Damn it. That has ever existed. And I'm kind of fascinated by it because I really think it might be the most obtuse game ever created. Nope, oh, wrong button. I'm suddenly playing very stupidly. Well, actually I've been playing stupidly a lot this session, but especially so. Damn it, bird! Look what you made me do. I have played Dwarf Fortress. Come on, give me your. That is correct, Keith. And, uh, Gensai isn't, but, um, Athena and Kensu are also in Crystallis. Which is a rather good game I would also consider doing sometime. Indeed, it did Lord Finisher, and the arcade board was enormous for that reason. Athena's name is Magic. Fuck, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Ah! Oh, they're instant spikes. Yeah, this area looks like a stone bitch, no pun intended. Ooh! Oh, I don't have very much health. Didn't even notice. Do a couple gratuitous saves. Get me a little more of that. When it comes to Dragon Slayer 2, I will always uh, think fondly of the incredibly mindfucky Beethoven level. That shit is surreal. Oh, I've done it again. Yep, I've been doing that Sonic Rose, but somewhat easier said than done. Uh, 
Okay, now comes the part that really sucks. Ha! Thanks, bird. Oh, damn it, I don't have a map stone fragment. Oh, that reminds me, there was a... There was a ti 994 a version of Dragon's Lair. Physical cartridge and everything, and it's actually an okay port. It's scary. Like, the FMV on the TI is not exactly large or high resolution, but... Sometimes it's not that the bear dances well, but the bear but that the bear dances at all. I can talk. Oh, hey, map map stag map duh! I've completely lost my English. Okay, that's not gonna nah, that's not quite gonna do it. Now, the uh, TII-994A was a proper computer in the 80s. Not a particularly powerful one, but it had some neat games on it. I will always love me some Parsec. Come on, give me another rock! Ah! Yeah, a lot of the computer uh, versions of Dragon's Lair 2 were just... Um, the other half of the first game. The original release only representing half of it. Yeah, there might be some other way that, I, that I'm expected to do this, but this feels like it should maybe be possible. Nah. Not like that it won't be. Take too long to get me another rock. Sonic Rose, if you were actively watching at this point, can you confirm slash deny whether this is a fool's errand on my part? Oh, that might do it. Oh, still not quite. Oh, Bird, you might help. Ha! Thanks, bird. Ah, oh, I love me a good map stone. I would also like a new Wizards and Warriors. To be honest, I only ever liked the first one, but I really, really liked the first one. The sequels, I felt, seemed to lose their way a little bit. But mileages, of course, will vary. Oh, I need you. I need you to blow this up for me. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wizard's Crown sounds super familiar, but I can't place it. What kind of beastie is that? Uh, Wizards and Warriors is a kind of a platformer with RP ele uh, RPG elements. It's pretty good. If memory serves, frank did an LP of it. Looks like this is another keystone -y sort of area. Let's see. Maybe if I use some slimy help I can do this okay. Come on, slime, spit at me. Oh yeah, there is that Game Boy one. That I've never played. 
Oh, nuts. That's not how that was meant to go at all. Ugh. Huh, now how do I get to the other side of that? Well, that at least was easy. My favorite thing about Keith Courage will always be the ridiculous comic that came with it. Anyone who has not seen that, I highly recommend it. Alright, Spitty Thing, will you please die already? Wow, I'm really determined to die here. Could really do with more cabbage. Spitty thing, you're not the good kind of cabbage. top here. Just a flat wall, right? Yeah. Something that should be breakable, but I don't really know how yet. <laughs> That's actually pretty damn cool, Keith. A little touch of uh, unintended personalization. bash one of you into the gate. Oop. Okay. Right in spirit, wrong in execution. Completely wrong in execution. There we go. Alrighty, Hawkbird Tree. Have a good night and a good weekend, and thanks for dropping by. Maybe a projectile to break this. Hollow Knight is probably more likely to get uh, streamed, but it is one I definitely want to play. It is part of the mighty backlog. To the right and down looks like a way I can go. Ooh! There's a cabbage receptacle. Oh! Very trollish, Rory. Very trollish. Blasphemous also on the backlog. Actually, no, I don't know if I actually have that one yet. I'll have to check my library. I very kindly get a lot of gifts for Steam. Gifts and various uh, bundle things. 
so... I've kind of lost track of what games I actually have when it comes to Steam. Oh, Lors, I just saw that. I have so many wacky funsters here, and I appreciate it. Thought there might be something up here. Ooh, a lever, too. Ooh. Well, it seemed to me that you lived your life like a turd in the wind. There was a Keith in, um, what was it called? Oh yeah, uh, Second Den Sets 3, uh, Secret of Mana 3. thing. How do I get up past all the spikes is the question. My pleasure. Glad to help. And I get... Oh, that requires three ability points. Well, never mind. I'll proceed a wee bit further, and then we'll, we'll go to break. Yep, Super Fami originally. Looks like I have a decent amount to explore up ahead. This seems like a reasonable place to call it. Well, even when it frustrates the shit out of me, Ori is always a good time. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like the Souls games, actually. You, uh... You have to beat your head against the walls for a fair amount of time, but it's very, very satisfying when you do. And entirely understandable, Sonic Rose. I hope you have an easy day. Alrighty then, folks. 
I am going to be out for the usual 20 or 30. Anyone who's heading out for the night, a very good night and a very good weekend to you. Rose, you included. And anyone who's still going to be around, I will see you afterward for probably some Super Win the Game.
And we're back. You know, I actually probably would dig into a Street Fighter 2010 sequel. The, uh, the connection to the rest of the Street Fighter-verse is certainly tenuous, but it was a pretty decent little game in its own right. Thank you for the welcome back. <laughs> I, I do want to take a moment to say a probably unheard apology to, uh, to the rescue I'll be, uh, visiting on Sunday for bitching about rescues in general, because they did finally come through and they had simply had a busy day. But there is precedent. I have gotten the runaround from several of them, and sometimes you just gotta get a thing off your chest. But, uh, the representative there of that I spoke to on the phone was very cool. So, credit where due as well. Alrighty then, anything else to touch upon before launching into Super Win? Eh, nothing least in mind. Alright then, I suppose we can move right on over to the old SW... SWTG, my brain just kind of zorched out on me for a moment there. Alrighty there. Super win the game. Oh! Second time I forgot I have to update my stream information. Let me do that. I have thought about it, Sir Hoshi Cat, but, um... Never really jumped on the idea, because it always seemed kind of presumptuous to think folks would subscribe to me at higher tiers, and I don't actually know the rules offhand for, uh, for other emotes. I'll have to look into that, figure out how that works. That's a part of the, the Twitch experience that I haven't really hipped myself to yet. I have more tier 1 slots. Okay. I did not actually know that. That just goes to show how thoroughly researched this whole enterprise is. But uh, thank you for the heads up about that. I will investigate. Puppy Leo, I should totally do that. Maybe I should do Sarah, too. Doesn't seem right to leave her out. Okay, so I did research what it is that I'm uh, supposed to do next. It turns out that mask that I got last session that we had no idea what to do. Um, that mask actually makes those invisible blocks around the door to the purple zone uh, visible. And if you drop down from those blocks... Uh, <clears throat> if you drop down from those blocks, then um, there's a person underneath who gives you your next necessary plot coupon. Uh, Puppy Leo, we have not figured that out yet. It's always time for more DOS, uh, bad DOS ports. To be honest, I like his, um... I like his rescue name, which is Rocco. But Mom has said she hates Rocco, so there may be some contention over that. Uh, with two C's, Puppy Leo. And I just have to find my way back to the door to Purple Zone. I should touch this bell. <laughs> Puppy Leo, I always could go with Van Kane. Okay, you got one totally outside of my knowledge base there. What in the blue hell is Corn Cob 3D? <laughs> Dog bone. How do they revenue and wings? Very good to see you.
<laughs> that actually kind of makes me think of the NES version of Rocket Ranger. Oh, damn it. Damn it! Oh yeah, I remember this respawn point being exactly where the projectile comes out. I remember that now. Okay, I think now I'm above the, um... the block zone. SP-69, welcome! Now, do I drop down? I think I go to the purple zone and then drop down. Yeah, this is the place. So, you found me. Your journey is nearing its end, Wayfarer. I don't know about that. Ranger. That has potential. Perhaps you have seen doors bearing our mark during your travels. This bauble will unlock these doors. I got the A thing. In the fishing village southwest of Lakewood, you will find a hidden treasure. It will allow you to reach the Fire Realm, where the Hollow King dwells. Before you can face the king, however, you must retrieve the broken pieces of his heart. The wizard has hidden them throughout the kingdom, but soon you will have all the tools you need to find them. Victory is within your grasp, Wayfarer! Now, how many pieces of the heart were there? I know they told us how many there were in total at some point, but I don't recall the number. Yeah, why not? But before I go looking to open that door, in the process of finding out uh, about this next step, I also found out that there's a pretty well-hidden heart in the uh, in the desert ruins. So I may have to go hunt that down first. if I can find the Desert Ruins again. As usual, this being last played a week ago, I have largely lost track of where I am. Not that being me actually remembering what I, what I was doing would help me all that much, I'd get lost anyway. Well, at least the desert ruins being in the desert, I know what kind of terrain to look for. I think that might have been south of here? Oh man, Papilio, your control key too? Your keyboard is not a happy bunny. Okay, desert. This should be the right place. Oh. Well hidden heart. The question is, where is it well hidden? Uh, the mention of dessert. It's not actually dessert, but the mention of dessert reminded me, uh, when I stepped out to get some more beverage in the, uh, Lady Mappy I did. It made some blocks visible that were previously invisible, uh, that helped me get to the thing that I needed. But, uh, as I was saying, the, the dessert ruins thing reminded me, uh, when I went to get some more beverage during the break, I, uh, I saw a note from my sister 
inviting me to help myself to the pizza logs. What, we, what in the actual fuck are pizza logs? So I looked in the fridge, and they are apparently egg rolls, only without the usual egg roll stuff in the inside, but pizza stuff instead. Which sounds fucking great, and I look forward to trying them. I do think the name Pizza Logs is somewhat unfortunate, but... It does get the, the uh, name across, or the message across, I suppose. <laughs> the aftermath of the pizza, well said. More or less, Puppy Leo, what I actually have is a whiteboard on my door. A little one. Uh, so whenever I'm streaming or recording, I just write streaming or recording on it. <laughs> little hive mind in the chat. I always enjoy when that happens. Here. Oh, there's an arrow there. How nice of them. Yeah, I have been here before, but... Be mindful. Okay, those are real. You ever saw it? I just leave my door closed without explanation. Okay, so there's a heart hidden somewhere around here. The question is, where do I have to go to get to it? There's nowhere super obvious on the map that there would be another room. Eh. Yeah, R.I.P. Sierra. I think there's like a fan-made sequel to Space Quest coming out. Kind of like, uh... A couple of them did with, um... Kind of like a couple did with, um... Whatchamacallit. Uh... King's Quest. But whether it'll be any good remains to be seen. I understand the King's Quest fan game actually... Uh, the one that got finished... Is actually pretty good. But I have not yet played it. Uh, Mechazorus, I just know that there's a piece of the heart somewhere in the desert ruins. Where exactly, I don't know. But I am hoping to find it before I move on. Oh, that does remind me. If, uh... If there are any Street Fighter fans in the chat that haven't seen Assassin's Fist yet, do that. It took me forever to see it, and now I wish I had seen it earlier. It's really kind of a shame just how, uh... Just how much a fan movie completely shamed the Hollywood one. No way to kill enemies that I'm aware of. this go. Leap of faith is needed in Great Hall. I wonder if that's... Okay. That might be meaningful.
not there. Yeah, Raul Julia was definitely the best part of that. Now, I really think... It could be talking about the fake spikes with the arrow. And I agree, the anime movie was good. Ah! I wanted that bell. You know, Lord, that could really go for some Flavo fives right about now. I figured that would probably kill me. Ah, yes, the Dr. Brain games. I remember them well. Uh, Goober Slot, I did get um, the key to a door I need to go through. I'm just seeing if I can find this heart piece before I go there. Ah, screw it. Let's make some progress. Actually, let's look down here. Yeah, Bully wasn't exactly what I would call wholesome, but the uh, concerns about it were really, really overblown. Mechazorus, given his intellect, it must not have been a particularly good school. Oh! That'll train me to pay attention to the chat when I'm walking. I was always kind of surprised wasn't uh, wasn't more controversial. I forget exactly what year it came out, but it was I think the most recent Punisher game. I mean, I suppose people expect Punisher games to be uh, violent, but man, that was brutal. That is certainly true, Mr. YTF. There have been many cases <laughs> of uh, copyright infringement that got overlooked, to be sure. Okay, this is that door I just got the, uh, the key equivalent for. The door opens to your touch.
Burn to Hell makes a lot of things boring. Although I suppose the, uh... The sex scenes are amusing. Alright. Now we're gonna deal with this bouncy shit. Ah! Yes, it was always fully clothed. Oh, hello, Prawn. Steel skin, steel skin catalyst makes caustic substances safe for swimming. Ah, so this is how we're going to deal with the with the death water. I like that it's just a warning symbol. A nameless sadness per sadness, not sadness. A nameless sadness pervades this place. Yeah, usually there's a book in rooms like this. No book here, just sadness. Can I swim with the prawn? Might not be any reason to do so. Yeah, maybe it is a crayfish. You'd think I know, I used to catch crayfish all the time as a youngster. Well, not all the time, whenever we visited the cabin that, uh, my dad had a small interest in it. Okay, now that I can swim in... Oh, I didn't want to actually go in there. Now that I can swim in the death water, there should be at least a few things newly open to me. I just have to find again where some of them are. It is indeed, Bubby Leo. That is true. Full throttle is pretty damn decent. I wonder if Mark Hamill remembers being in that game. Probably no death water here. You know, there actually is a firefighting game in my, uh, in, actually, come to think of it, there's one firefighting game in my backlog, which is fighter, uh, Firefighter FD-18. I may do that one blind someday, because it looks kind of fascinating to me. There's Firefighter FD-18, there is, of course, Burning Rangers, and there's also The Fireman by Human Entertainment, which is pretty good. Oh, and also The Ignition Factor. Yeah, Mr. YTF, that's one of the things that uh, really interested me about it, was the fact that there are bosses that are fire that wants to kill you. Yeah, 
I couldn't go in this before. Oh, key, is that all? I don't need those anymore. Uh, out of those, the fireman is good. Uh, ignition factor I haven't played. Burning Rangers, of course, is good. Oh, Brave Firefighters, the arcade game. I like that one. Oh, yeah! That's right, the Sega CD one. I never played that either. That's not gonna help me. <laughs> I don't believe I've seen any of those, Puppy Leo. Now, of course, now that I can actually do the Death Water, I forget where all the uh, Death Water locations are. Texanosis, those are kind of an example of games that I admire but don't really care to play myself. Ah, here's some death water. When it comes to police quest games, not because of its quality, there are better ones in terms of quality, but I've always been kind of fascinated with um, police quest open season, just by sheer virtue of its weirdness, especially the end. The way open season ends is just fucking surreal. Was there something over here? No. And this was what? Okay, that. That's the one, Keith. Now, the underground waterway. Where actually was that? Uh, Puppy Leo, I did see that. Uh, saw it as a double feature with Joker, oddly enough, and it was alright. I wasn't in love with it. Definitely not one of my favorite movies, but it didn't make me throw up directly on my shoes. find some place with a subcon door or subspace door or whatever they're called. That would help me get to the waterway, I'm sure. Drop into the water around any bridge. Excellent idea. Yep, heading for a bridge. Let's see, movies that I found downright painful. Uh, the Spawn movie was one. Yeah, I thought Joker was outstanding. Yeah, Spawn I was not at all a fan of. Um, I thought the Tank Girl movie was hilarious. Uh, hilarious? I kind of mixed up my thoughts there. I was going to say that Spawn had one of my all-time favorite stupid hilarious lines in it, that being time for some necro goo, but the Tank Girl movie is another one I found unbearable. Ah, uh, what else? Fucking time for some necro goo. Sounds like zombie pornography. have any issues with them. Um, I 
don't really have any issues with Lori Petty per se, I just thought it was a terrible movie. Some place with death, 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 with death water that actually gets me somewhere. Oh, I totally forgot Lori Petty was in uh, Point Break. Oh, you know what else was absolutely fucking awful? Um, Ringmaster, the Jerry Springer movie. I paid money for that. Not on my own uh, impetus, mind you. I uh, There was a friend of mine who wanted to see it, and I went along to be social, but I did pay a theater price for that. Yep, going back. I apologize, the more of this game that... Uh, the more of this game that I... Um, <clears throat> that I get access to, the more disoriented I get. Ah, yes, the don't swim the toxic waste sign. I gotta figure out how to get back to that. Go right. I can do that. I did see Ready to Rumble. It was pretty damn bad. Keep going to the right, okay. Does this go anywhere? Well, it goes to a diamond, at least. Yeah, core I didn't find... Oh, here's the sign. Core I didn't find entertaining in any really intentional way, but... It was amusing. Oh, God, Puppy Leo. We would be here all day. Dennis Rodman runs from an explosion in coke machines. No. Oh, is there something over here? I noticed there's a place I couldn't go down. Yes, yes there is. Oh, but it's a key. Oh, but I can go down again through that floor. Ah, shit. <clears throat> oh, real obscure movie, at least uh, obscure in the West, I imagine, uh, that I saw recently that I really liked was Avenging Fist. Avenging Fist was a Hong Kong action movie, so the, um, the production values weren't brilliant, although they weren't bad either. But it was like your standard Hong Kong... Uh, martial arts movie crossed with Blade Runner. It had a really cool aesthetic, actually. And it had Sammo Hung and uh, Yun Biao, which is always a plus. Farther right, okay. But yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, I definitely recommend Avenging Fist. Apparently the lead in it is, like, a big pop star, but I have no idea who he is. Up oh, and to the right, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I see the bit of unrevealed, uh, uh, unrevealed map there now. Oh, right, I need to go down here. I said that and then immediately forgot to do it. I'm good at things. Granted, keeping up with the chat does break up my train of thought a little bit. Oh, I died after saying it originally. 
I also have the memory of a goldfish. Oh, hey, a book. <laughs> an old, old bard. That, I think, was an even worse wrestling movie than Ready to Rumble. I will read from the book. This is what was written. You're really getting the hang of this. Just remember the things I showed you. Walking? You're getting too complicated, game. I'm feeling faintly patronized. All right, this is going to be a tricky one. Watch out for the spikes. You know, I bet I couldn't land on those even if I tried. The gap looks too narrow. You're doing so well. Watch out for that bat. You know, Puppy Leo, I was thinking about Toriel, too. Yay, I did it! Haha, <laughs> I can see you're all like, no, I can do this myself. I know you can. Go get him. Well, that was a very different book. No. I will say there are two things about No Holds Barred that I got uh, actual enjoyment from. Uh, which were the ridiculous Dookie scene and the ridiculous Stan Hansen as Dick Looker in the men's restroom. Now, I'll be fairly shocked if lava works, but it is worth a try. That's true, there might be even... Oh, there's that spot to the left, at the very left. Where there's a diamond I couldn't get to, I can't remember why though. Oh, there were two entertainingly bad movies that I saw very recently that I learned about from uh, Red Letter Media, uh, from their Best of the Worst series, and that was um, Gedevin and Lycan Colony. Lycan Colony was fucking hysterical. It's one of the most incompetent movies I've ever seen, this side of Manos. Exactly how it is spelled, too. Like, uh, like Keith spelled it. Uh, like in Colony in a nutshell. No, the transformation effects were not decent, <laughs> to say the least. Like in Colony in a nutshell, I think. Um, there was, uh, early on in the movie, there was a character who was supposed to have a tattoo on his neck, and they tried to digitally, uh, superimpose the tattoo on him, and it was, like, not even remotely steady. Like, the tattoo jumped around on his neck all over the place. And then when he showed up again later in the movie, they didn't bother to duplicate the tattoo. Ah, yes, there is de de uh, death water over there. Ooh, 
Ooh, I just noticed the mention of Robot Carnival. That is an old favorite of mine. Utter lunacy is a good description. Alright, Lord Finisher, I am listening. A door to the left in dirty water. Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Thank you. Good eye. Well, more accurately, I have a bad eye, but, you know. Favorite short from Robot Carnival? Maybe, um, what was the name of it? I think it was Presence. It was like, uh... It, it, the one with the, um... The guy who kind of creates his... Perfect robot waifu and... Sadness ensues. That's the one. Uh, Puppy Leo, that was a, that was a separate movie. That was its own feature. Uh, Rojan Z. And Rojan Z was pretty good. Just a diamond. Oh well, we like diamonds. Oh, whoa, I fell into something there. Hello there, hidden passage. That's another heart. Wait, didn't we have four before? Oh, I had three before? Okay. My memory is terrible. subject of CG and anime. I was recently uh, introduced to Beastars, and man, I am really impressed at how far uh, 3D for 2D has come. Uh, more or less super pervert, except that it's all one word, like B-E-A-S-T-A-R-S. -S. It's very interesting, I'm not real sure where it's going so far, but it's good. And uh, it's 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 all done with CG, but it looks very convincingly like um, uh, like traditional animation. And yes, it has much improved since Skullgo 13. Oh, also the Africa Salaryman one. The Africa Salaryman had uh, a lot of 3D for 2D, and it was also quite good. Uh, I think it's literally called Africa and a Salary Man, but I don't remember for sure.
I have I have seen the Animatrix. Pretty long ago, though. Cells at work. Oh, I've heard of that, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, to tell you the truth, Revenant, uh, I don't know where it came from. It was Justin that introduced me to it, and I'm not sure where he got it from. Tying into the previous, uh... Tying into the previous Fireman topic, uh, I've heard good things about Fire Force. I'm interested in checking that one out sometime. Oh, fuck! That just reminded me. Um, also, at Justin's, we discovered what is, like, one of my favorite things in recent memory. God, I gotta find the name of it. Give me a second. It was, um... The, the basic premise was, this pro wrestler gets transported into a fantasy world, and because he's, uh, um, obsessed with animals, he wants to start a pet shop with monsters. It was a fucking riot. Kimono Michi, rise up. And yes, suplex the princess. Kimono Michi, rise up. That's the one. Okay, now I gotta get the window back in focus so I can actually play again. There we go. Lord, uh, Lord F and or Lady Mappy, do you remember any other place where there was, um, where there was Death Water to try? We'll try, um, we'll try Lava eventually as well. Hang on, I'll put him in. Yep, Super Perverts got it right. That is the correct spelling. I've lost my, my window again. There we go. Ah, yes, trying the lava. Oh, we gotta get that mouse cursor out of the way. No, computer! Okay, so that's all the death water, huh? Alright, so we will try lava. The one place I remember lava being was, like, in the first dungeon. That was this one, right? Yeah, Lakewood Dungeon. There was a lava area off to the left, I, off to the yeah, left, I think. Sherlock Hound. I've heard the name, never seen any of it. Oh wow, it does work. I was really not expecting that. I was really expecting it was going to be, uh, uh what should we call it? It was going to be. Uh, a separate item. Oh yeah, hell. I forget. I forget how to get to hell, but I'm pretty sure that's an uh, an optional challenge area anyway. I may want to play with that eventually, but it's not a priority. Oh, it was in Subcon. Okay. Oh wait, looks like there was another spot on the map I hadn't explored. <laughs> That is one of those uh, lines that's great out of context, isn't it? Now, oh, yep, there's something to the left here.
Ah, Twitch is being a butthole again. Fast on we there, fish. Oh, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, who was it? Was that you, Puppy Leo, that asked about moving disintegrating platforms? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh, and it's another heart piece. Good. We'll be needing that. That leaves us with... or that gives us five now. I know the game told us at one point. Does anyone remember how many heart pieces there are? I sure don't. Six. Thank you for being my memory, Lord Finisher. Well, we are close. We are getting close. There's still that one in the um, desert ruins that I'm pretty sure I didn't get. I'd be super surprised if hell were mandatory. It just kind of screamed challenge area to me, but I could be wrong. I was wrong about the lava. Oh, goober slot. Dark. Dark. Gotta get out of here. Oop, I had it for a moment there. There's one other place. Oh yeah, just above me, some place that I couldn't get to. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Oop. Yoga blocks. Okay, up and to the left. Oh, that's out. I'm a dipshit. I forgot exits look like, uh... Exits look like unexplored map blocks. So, now what do? Oh, I could try hell. I could certainly do that. That was, in fact, Subcon. I just have to find a door to it. I am listening, Lord Finisher. There's the area with white houses. Okay. I don't remember exactly where that is, but I remember the town. This is the fishing village, right? Yes. <laughs> Point taken, Lars. Oh, that's right! That's right. Thank you, Lady Mappy, I remember now. 
and we're straight getting. Oh, this is the key lender. This is the normal shop. Oh, hit it out, Gravity. Good seeing you. Thank you for stopping by. Here we go. Ah, version. That was a neat one. So, okay, that's just an exit. Hell has such a jaunty tune. Yeah, I'm actually really digging the hell music, but it doesn't exactly match the environment. That is true, Running Hell in uh, Cave Story is probably my favorite music in the game. Although it has some stuff... some stuff? Some stiff competition. Big fan of Onto, uh, Onto Grass Town and Moonsong as well. Uh, I remember I couldn't get through here before, so I'm pretty sure it is lava. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe it is blood. Didn't quite get what you were saying right away there. Yuck. <laughs> ah! figure out how to get out of here. They sure are, SP. None of the fish I ever had could do that, but it's just as well. Oh, jeez. Do I just need to bell myself out of here? Oh no, because I have a bell down here. Ugh, that won't work. Ugh, God. <laughs> yeah, I think I just need to make that jump, and that's not going to be the easiest ever. There we go. Gonna make sure I hit that bell. Okay, I popped two locks here, so I should have a couple new places I can go.
Have I been to this one? No. It's a long way down. Oh, we're getting our bubble man on. Ah! Doing okay for a moment there. Now just watch, this whole time I'll need to, uh... Need to have been going down the right s- Ah! Balls. Well, that blew up on the launch pad. Whoop. It's easy to forget how lethal spikes are from the side. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. I concur, this is evil. I won't try this all day, there's another place I can go to down here. Since I popped another lock. Oh, that was shitty. The disturbing thing, Lady Mabby, is I suspect you're more or less right. Oh, side of the spike again! It does seem likely to me to be, um, to, to be optional, but I was wrong about probably needing a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, second item for the lava. So, I could very easily be wrong about that, too. Ah! Side of the spikes! It's like my brain can't remember that that's a thing. Oh! Right down. Sparks. Oh, completely wrong. Ah! Okay. Go on elsewhere for now. See what's top side before I go exploring below. Ah, some more of that hive mind. Although I suppose it is a fairly obvious joke. Nope, oh, that's exit. I may end up having to look up where that uh, piece of heart in the desert shrine is. Because I really don't think I ever found it. But I could not tell where it was meant to be. Oh, hey, secret. You are not a secret. Can 
Okay, that's where the spikes are. Is there any way I can get above and to the right? Or did I already do that? Actually, I think I already did that. I did do that. I could always try, uh... Try to find that location that, um that purple world guy told me about. Only trouble is, A, he said that there was no use in doing that until we had all the heart pieces, and B, I don't remember where he said it was. I'll have to look that back up. Rewatch. But here's a book. Books are always interesting. I rose and turned to face that presence, knowing instinctively what I would see. And there it was, lucidity achieved. I'm smiling next to you. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm making this up as I go. I can move this thing with my mind! Wait, I was supposed to go the other way. I think you're messing with my head. Oh, nope, I actually have to do it. No, this doesn't feel right either. Oh, hi! I had a dream that you would be okay. Please don't prove me wrong. <laughs> Great line, Keith. I'm remembering that one. Ah, here we go. A book within a book. Oh, let's not return to the dungeon entrance. Oh. Was there a lock in all that that I should have opened? Up. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a thing. So, is there anything more that I haven't done besides Spike Country? God, I think Spike Country is all I have left. one of these that I missed. I'll give Spike Country another crack or two. Which was that? South Island. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, Afterlife. I was about to say, is that the one where you, like, manage the, uh, Heaven and Hell? But I think that was Afterlife Empire. So, Afterlife, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, there is another one like that. Okay. played that one. I don't tend to be super into management games, but I have heard the name. Whoa! Afterlife was the LucasArts one, okay. No! Ah! Let's try... Let's say, let's try the right side. Of course, then I get killed by psych, sp psych spides. Yes, I get killed by psych spides. Oh, wow, this is precarious. Hmm. 
<laughs> An untitled story? No, I haven't. It does not ring a bell either. What's that one? Balls. Cut that a little too fine. Cut that not even remotely fine. <laughs> no, I'm just being extremely stupid. Okay, yeah, clearly I'm kind of losing my mind on that. Let's go back from hell. A bird's egg that fell out of its nest? Well, it's an interesting premise, to say the least. Good question, Keith. I'm actually thinking this might be because you fall faster. At least I seem to remember the, uh, this being... I seem to remember, uh, Vv not being quite as fast in its cruel area. But then I probably haven't seen the worst of it either. If there's any other lava places that I haven't done. An untitled story. I will have to investigate that. Thank you for helping me to it. I remember one RPG, uh, RPG Maker horror game that was kind of interesting, and I can't remember the name of it exactly. It was something like Blue Oni. Oh, Oni, that sounds about right. Lava was to the north. Oh, that's right. Now, do I actually have a way to get there? That is the question. East and then north. I haven't checked out Celestia either. Okay, there's that cave network. Maybe I can get to it through that. This is the one that goes to the ice area. Ice area, then head west. Okay. I'm really kind of impressed that you can remember this shit. Oh, okay. No worries. Ah, yes, there is lava here, isn't there? It wasn't RPG Maker, but wasn't the original uh, version of Corpse Party made in some similarly ransack- yeah, ramshackle fashion. Uh, Goober Slot, we have to collect all the pieces of the King's heart and then confront him. I don't remember why, if in fact we were ever told. PC-98 RPG Maker, okay. I thought it was some other thing. 
but it was actually RPG Maker. Cool. Ah, Lair of the Hollow King, okay. This, I believe, is where we need to have all the hearts, which we don't. Thank you, Lady Mappy. Let me grab that link real quick, like... that. Alright, got it, thank you. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. That'll free the, um, the vertical block, I imagine. Ah, yes. Oh! Gotta do the cling thing. Oh no, don't leave! I'm coming back in. Probably have to give that one to the king in yellow. But then again, we don't really know what the Hollow King is like yet. There's probably no real reason I had to do that. And we're setting it again. Uh, I am possibly going to try out uh, Toho Luna Nights. Whether that will stick or not, I do not know. And I'm not completely married to that. I have many, many options given the size of my backlog. Like, I doubt I will ever run out of backlog, to be perfectly honest. Ah, yes. Here is where we have to submit all our hearts, and I cannot. Uh, I'm not Goober Slut, but it's it's a spin-off. It's not one of the normal uh, Toho games, and it's not a shooter. I have played Dwarf Fortress, yes. Is there really such a thing as getting far in Dwarf Fortress? Oh, interesting things always happen in uh, Dwarf Fortress, but I cannot remember too much about uh, about what it did. Honestly, I remember other people's Dwarf Fortress stories better than I remember my own. Oop, computer, don't do that. Oh, it's a fan game, I didn't know that. I figure out the military. Was well, there anything in the lava here that I should be concerned with? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, I've been here, haven't I? Yeah, there's some map filled in, so I must have. I think my favorite, uh... Oh, yeah, it is Lord's, isn't it? There we go. Oh, and now we're back into waterway.
I think my favorite thing I've ever heard about uh, Dwarf Fortress is in one of the SA Succession games. Not Boat Murdered, but one of the other ones. Uh, where some, uh, some dwarven lady um, had, like, an axe and a baby, and she went into battle wielding the baby. Wasn't a very effective weapon, imagine that. SP-69. You bring back many uncomfortable memories of Stevie Ray matches. <laughs> Puppy Leo, I have heard about that, but I've never witnessed it personally. Psycho Waluigi. Not I. Oh, that's right, it wraps around. To the lair of the... Oh, okay. I can open... Oh, it doesn't open from this side. There was another thing in, uh... This one was in Boat Murdered. But uh, there was there's something else that I found very immaturely hilarious, uh, which was when the dwarves came up with a a picture of a dog melting and titled it the old stick of balls. Demons community. Oh, that's the... That was the place with the white buildings. Was there anything in there that I needed to do? I think that, uh... Oh, Lady Mappy, I think there was something like that in Boat Murdered as well. Where, uh, where someone made a carving of a cheese and then someone else made a carving of that carving of a cheese. No, this is the wrong place. This is where I want to be. So, I hate to ask, but would anyone out there be up for doing a little internet researcher and, uh, checking into that heart in the, uh, desert ruins? I can't say objectively whether it's bad, Lors, but it is flattering. Google will be more helpful.
Top right of the room with the subcondor. Thank you. I just have to figure out where the subcondor is. Big one with the moving platform. Okay. Top right. Very good. Thank you, folks. Okay, I'm probably going to need the platform to get there. Okay. Not those. Another secret nook down the left pit. Okay. Not that far right. That won't help. Once I get in the first... Oh, okay. Get into the first secret book first. Thank you, that helps. Hey, Bucket Traveler, better Nate than Lever. So that was... Hang on, I need to scroll back a little. Down the left pit, okay. That bit. Another one higher up. I jumped in. Okay. So it's through the same wall, but higher. Straight right. Sorry, I realize I'm probably being very thick here. Yeah, I could do that. Probably might just be better to open the map. Give me a moment. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I see. They'll go up. Huh. Oh, 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 at the very... Okay, very top right of the room. Got it. Okay. So what I was doing first was actually more correct. <laughs> Extreme upper left. Out of my way. Yep. Nuts. This platform is kind of obnoxious to deal with. Oh, there's an arrow there. Okay. So there is an indication. Well, that's nice of them. Oop. Hang on, let me look at that map again. Okay. Oh, and then I fall down the pit and then it's to the left. Okay. Okay. 
Yep, I see it now. If I can find my super win the game window, there we are. Nope, not like that. To the left, to the left, to the left. Not down, to the left. And they give you a hint for that one too, so that's nice. Spikes immediately below and above aren't fake. Uh, Puppy Leo, it was a little bit small on my screen, but I think it said dysthemia. Which is like a persistent depressive disorder. Oh, dysrhythmia. That makes a little more sense. Hollow King is in Lava Country. I remember more or less how to get there, at least. There's lava here. Where does this go? Caution, lava is hot. So the warm blood flows through the large six-chambered heart. Maintaining the very high metabolism rate they have. back out. Well then! Blech. Oh! Oh, man, that's dense. this actually is, but I would like to try to get by it. Clear Eyes is awesome. Oh! Jumped right into that one. Gotta say, Super Win the Game, this is pretty mean. This game's mechanics don't really, don't really lend themselves to Damaku. Knowing this game, it probably is just a gem, but I would like to find out. Oh! Oof, when it comes down... When it comes down from its bounce, that's when it gets the scariest. Oof! Man, this is tough. Oh, 
bottom left corner of that pit, then run under the wing. Never did it though. Six o'clock on up. Oh, it's a book. Well, I do want to see that. Ugh. That was ill conceived. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh! Ah! Hold on now, don't. Ah! Those really high density spots in its pattern. It's so easy to get caught in those. I concur, this is kind of mean. I kind of admire it for its dickishness, if I'm honest, but... Definitely dickish. Ooh. Oh, that was completely inept of me. <laughs> now I'm just being... Completely off. Oh, jeez. Ah, good old Oculus Orbis. Well, I'm not sure of anything, Megazorus, but I. Sh th this seems like it should be possible. Just difficult. See, I keep getting almost, almost, almost. getting away after I... Now, I'm positive this, is can, this can be done. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing it yet, but I'm positive this can be done, because I've come so close so many times. Not like that, though. Oh! Problem is, if I take it slow, I get... I get buried in that dense pattern at the end. I gotta get away from it once I get under. Of course, for that I have to get under first, which is a trial in itself. Dicks and pricks and little green hop toads. Yeah, if the uh, if the fish were shitting super balls, then this eye has serious diarrhea, which may be one of the worst things I've ever said. Oh! Oh! When it's spinning to the right, let them go in front of me. Ooh! Ooh! God, this is infuri- yeah, This is infuriating. Oh! Yeah, I gotta be fast when I get under it. Gotta be fast without, like, completely losing it. The 
if I could avoid long enough to get it to do an upward bounce when I'm close to it. Oh, sorry for that, Gravity. Ooh! I kind of panicked there and, and lost it. your breath, take a drink. <sighs> Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, Revenant. They don't fit in my eyes, they don't fit in my eyes, they don't fit. In my eyes, they don't fit in my eyes, they don't fit in my eyes. Okay, creepy. Oh, they're bouncy! Oh, Lady Mappy, did you miss the eyeball adventures? Fried electric hot metal held next to the skin, burning and scarring, but already scarred and numb to the rasp on the eyelids and a thirst that can never be quenched, that can never be quelled. When can I sleep? Why don't I dream? Indeed. Oh no! Okay, good, I can warp out. I got a Chivo out of it, that's nice. Was there anything else down that lo- Oh, excuse me. Was there anything else down that lava pit? I think I may have done all this. Yeah, I don't know that I was expecting anything quite so horrorish in this. Okay, that's the lava is hot, Siren. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Oh, but I have to go out the other way. Okay. All right. Well, we still got a little time tonight, and I don't I, I don't necessarily have to tap out at one, so let's go see what we can do with the Hollow King's Lair. Yep. Uh, gone down from there? I believe I have. Hey, Scorpion. There's another one I don't know. Keith, I've got to perform right now, but I will weep over that later. Hmm. 
Okay. Hollow King's Lair. Just gotta back to the gotta get back to the cave network and take the lava pattern. Did I say lava pattern? I meant path. This is where the cave network is, right? Right. King, I'm coming for you. Oh, hey, these are platforms now that I, uh, now that I have all the hearts. They weren't before. Oh, you must be the Hollow King. I got your heart here, dude. Why have you come so far, Wayfarer? There is nothing for you here. So, you're that troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. What? You found all the pieces of the King's heart? Also, it's that wizard talking. And I hid them so well, too. Bah, never mind that. You'll never reach us, Wayfarer. You'll never get close enough to return the King's heart. Hmm, let's try down the lava pit first. Clumsy of me. Primarily Ruby and Python. Oh, game that hurt. Yep. Oh, bullets and a smashy thing. But it's a snake, they're pretty pretty simple with their bullet patterns. Whoop. Gone in a circle. I uh, done goofed. Oh, we can redo that easily enough. Now I can go the top way. There we go. Let's see what's down from here. Oh, I've been there. Down the other pit. Down the other pit. Oop! Oof!
Alrighty, Mr. YTF. Sleep well and good weekend, and thank you for stopping by. The Lair of the Hollow King is kind of big, isn't it? I'm getting that impression. through that. I guess I can't uh, be too rough on Wizbone for being smug about us not being able to make our way through here. Keith, that would be that would be very bad in a place like this. I can't get up there right now. I'm starting to get that impression, SP69. I'm not at all uh, surprised your investigations bore that out. Hey there, Insomniosis. Good to see you. Ooh, gotta really thread the needle there. Eh, kind of a door maze light. It isn't just like a huge network of doors, at least not yet. Oh! Wow, I really got, went out of my way to get hit by that. Okay, and open the subcon door there, that's nice. Haha, <laughs> right you are, Keith. Huh. I don't think that's possible. I think I might have to go through the subcon. Oh. The subcon door. Oh, or maybe not. Yep, <laughs> clumsy. Okay, and this is just going to be the wraparound. Okay, nothing new. But I guess it's just as well to have a shortcut. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't get up there. That doesn't seem possible at all. So, I have not gone the right way, I reckon. Just testing the walls here.
Okay, just gotta find a path I haven't explored. Looks like there are several of them. Let's try way down from here. Oh, that's very cute, Gravity. Whoa! Oh, Kaizo blocks! Super win the game, you didn't. at all doable? Doesn't seem like it is. No, I don't think going that direction is possible. I certainly can't go back that way. A little bit rude. Nothing here is as rude as the eyeball was, I think. That's off the side of the block, huh? Hmm. Eh. I'm not thinking I can do it. Oh dear, Lady Mabby, what? <laughs> Fucking old wizard. Well, this way is the exit, right? I believe that to be so. But let's sanity check me on that. Oh no, it's not. some left and maybe some down here. Let's see if we can work that out. Ooh. Blech. Okay, left from here appears to be new. got here. Always read from the book. Sometimes I think I might just wake up one day, pen the great Arcadian novel, and go back to sleep. But probably not. I found my masterpiece filed away in a dusty cabinet in a forgotten corner of my mind. It's label red. Some purple prose about death and dreams. Nope, we won't warp. We'll see what's in this door. Oh, a dude. Hi, dude. Someday we may dance among the stars. But until then, we can pen our own fiction. Based on lies. And truth. And painful addiction. Climbing like ivy, twisting violently. And creeping up the backs of our necks. You should go. 
Yeah, I probably should. Oh, hey! This is that place that I couldn't go before. J. Kyle Pittman, American, born 1984. One for the Road, 2003 Mixed Media. There is an inscription beneath the frame. It reads, I had a dream. They overwrote my soul with a digital copy. They thought no one would know. And they were right. Okay. I thought that would be more important than it seems to be. Okay, if I can go down from here, if that's a thing that I can do, and maybe I can kind of wiggle my way around to the right and then up again. No, you know what? I probably can't do that. What was this door? diamond was. Alright, they're not gonna make it that easy on me. Let's see, what's the easiest way to get where I'm going? Well, I really have no idea what's the easiest way to get where I'm going, because I'm not entirely sure where- oh, balls! That seems to be my word for the evening, I don't know why. Lomagazaurus, you're not wrong. Okay, if I can wend my way to the right here, that should work out for me. If. Oh. Oh, oh, I see! I made something I could stand on with the Kaizo blocks, so... That'll me uh, that means I'll probably have to pop the rest of them and can't go here quite yet. But they're not pure assholery, which is nice. There's a purpose for them. Oh, goodness. That must be the other sub condor. Oh! That was asholeish. Asholeish, not asholeish. Another one here? Yep, thought there would be. Oh well, maybe again I'm making platforms I can cross later. <laughs> well played, Revenant. Oop! Surprise, Schmider. Crab battle. Very simple crab battle. Of 
think there's really any way for me to get up there. Oh! Kaizo blocks! I think what I'm going to have to do is wiggle my way around and go across the blocks now. That is my suspicion, anyway. I'm sure I was creating those for a reason. That was this way, right? I think so. That's right, Loris, you said farewell to them. Oh. Wow, Insomniosis, I'm glad to have had you around for so long. What if I go down from here? I reach a door. That's not very useful. Well, I guess it's a shortcut, and shortcuts are good to have. Ah, yep, and I did make myself some platforms here with Geyser Blocks. Cool! I can't make it to that on the left, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Ah! Shadow Dancer's always fun. I'm sort of glad it wasn't Revenge Shinobi, because I think Revenge Shinobi was kind of one of my worst. But if people enjoyed it anyway, that's just as well. Not one step closer, Wayfarer! You don't think I'm gonna listen, do you? Whoa, hi there! Well, we got over to the left, if anything. Okay, can't go up that way. Just thought I should check. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that, but I'll I'll go with that. No. Stay away. No. Blarg. You self-righteous little vagabond. You think you stand a chance against my power? Look at your king. See how he has fallen. I think I've just been put inside the king. The king's heart remains broken. Well, this is interesting. It's one o'clock, but I want to keep going. If anyone has to tap out at this point, I completely understand, but I think I'm going to keep at it for a bit. <laughs> That's a pretty good comparison, Lord Finisher. It is rather abadoxy. Yeah, this does feel very endgamey, I suspect you're right. These look important. Ah, uh, okay, I probably have to touch all of these. Hey, TC! Yeah, normally I log off around 1 o'clock, but uh, I think I'm being very... Uh, in a very endgame-ish place right now, so I want to see if I can wrap this up in the nearish future. And also, welcome!
I gotta say, the king has a really fucked up skeletal structure. Oop. Ooh, that's tricky. But doable. Funny you should say that, Insomniosis. The, uh... The single most common nightmare I get is about being back in school. It's not always the same school. Sometimes it's high school, sometimes it's college, sometimes it's something else. But the the most frequent nightmare type that I have is about uh, going back to school. I didn't enjoy education terribly. It's valuable in its ways, but I didn't enjoy it. Is my heart count going down? Actually, it's gone. Oh no, there it is. No, heart count hasn't changed. Oh, okay, I think I've done it all. Yep, map sure is a heart. Maybe I can go through that door now. find my way back to it. There we are. Let's tip that bell just in case. The kinks... Ah, shit. I missed something. Maybe the red dot. Ah, yep, you're right. Gotta get around to that from the other side, it looks like. Spiders I'm usually okay with, as long as they're not, like, really invasive of my... That was weird. Spiders I'm usually more or less okay with, as long as they're not super invasive of my personal space. I wish... I really wish... I weren't so horrified by centipedes and wanted to kill them so much. Because I know centipedes are quite beneficial, but god, they skeeve me out. That is by far my most disliked sort of bug. Well, technically not a bug, but you know what I mean. Cockroaches, I don't... I know, Megazaurus, I don't like to. If they get too up in my shit, sometimes I have to. Well, I don't, still don't have to, but... Well, you know. Well, yeah, I, I would like to be more appreciative of Centipedes, because they, good, good, they do good things, but... Yeah, so Ghibli. Eh. I'm not gonna worry about the, uh... You know, it might be easier for me to go around this way. You know, party, uh, party, goddammit. You know, Puppy Leo, for a moment I thought you said, uh, party moths there. I think I would like party moths. Okay, we'll need to go back around, that's alright.
Who's there? Come into the light where I can see you. Your Highness. Thank you, Wayfarer. Good evening, Warrior. It has been far too long since I saw the sun. Come, join me. It seems as if our friend the wizard has run off. We will have words if he dares to show his face in my kingdom again. Hooray, the king is back! I have a feeling there's going to be a swerve here. Thank you, Wayfarer. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, can't wall jump on that. Did you punch that wizard in the face? Did you, did you, did you? Oh, you didn't? I totally would have. The Arcadian is waiting inside to speak with you. The door opens to your touch. Yo. Your journey is at its end, Wayfarer. Are you ready to go? No. Yeah. Understand there is no glory in what we do. There will be no songs written in our praise. The books will not know our names. But when you sleep, when you dream, you will recall our faces. That is all that we can hope for, and all that we ask. Go now. And so I went. I remember this place as if in a, I remember this place as if in a dream. A dream from which I could never wake. My dreams weren't always haunted. Once upon a time they were rich and vibrant. This is their story. Huh. I think we've just been returned to the beginning. Let me check on that. Oh, we still got everything. Was that the actual ending? I'm not sure. I'm gonna say probably yes, but I'll have to look into that. New Game Plus, yeah, probably. I'll have to look into that, though. Very interesting. I think there's, like, deeper significance to the conversations in the book and how they tie in with everything, but I don't have to investigate. Well, let me just find a bell and then uh, I guess we will call it a night. That'll do. Uh, well, I do want to try uh, Luna Knight's Mechazora, so that is a likely one. But I'm not completely committed to that, and I am going to look at my options. After all, I don't know if Luna Knights will stick or not. We'll see. But I'll make sure I grab some various options, and, uh... Surely something will work out. <laughs> Lady Mappy, you are right. was lovely. Yeah, the later half of this year has kind of flown by. I guess mine was kind of chaotic. 
template with the move and the various upheavals that led to the move and what have you. Anywho, good time with Ori, some infuriating bits, but they were a pleasure to get by. Some infuriating bits uh, in Super Win the Game, now that, you, now that I think about it. Particularly uh, the eyeball. And you are all very welcome for the streaming. Uh, Bucket? Not yet, but I have a visit with one coming up on, uh, on Sunday. And I am crossing my fingers that it works out alright, because he sounds like a very good dog and he is a cutie. Thank you, SP69. You're very welcome once again, everybody. Do take care, everyone. I hope the rest of your week is kind. Thank you for the well wishes on the dog. God, 2010, almost a decade ago. You're right. That's very freaky. We are living in the future. As they say in Magic of Scheherazade, it has become the future while I was hibernating. Anyway, everybody sleep well. I uh, will see you hopefully real soon. And, uh, Keith, if you would be so kind, uh, if you're still there, would you mind uh, dropping something about your stream in plugs so that I have that to refer to? Because I don't want to forget about it. And I'm good at forgetting things. I do hope to be there if uh, life will allow. Alright, thank you, Keith. Oh, Puppy Leo, you're speaking my language there. Love me some last uh, unicorn and, and its soundtrack. I'm alive. Time travelers rather than just getting older. I like that. I have to remember that. Alright then, I've got a fairly chaotic weekend ahead of me, so I should probably try and get to sleep at a decent hour. Usually I, usually I don't after a stream. I tend to be fairly wired after uh, after a session of go with the stream and end up uh, staying up to like 5 a.m., but I should probably try not to do that. So, I will, uh, I will bid you all farewell for tonight. Once again, rest well when you do. A very good weekend to you, and I hope to see you again real soon. Till then, take care.